Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course guys, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you to fix the issue where you're getting the camera fail warning on your Galaxy S22, S22 Plus, S22 Ultra. Now of course, um, these errors involving the camera failing can happen on just about any Android device. Um, I've had devices in the past where as soon as I bought the camera and remove it from the box I find that the camera was getting the fail warning later on when you're using your device as well You might start getting the camera failure warning now in some cases it can be a hardware issue Meaning that the camera has literally failed and is stopped working and needs to be replaced But in a few cases it can be software related especially if you have used your camera before and it was working fine and then suddenly stop working all right i'm going to show you some tips that i tend to use um to troubleshoot the issue where you're getting the constant um or persistent camera field now as i said it cannot move the front camera as well as the back camera if your device is new you should always test your front as well as your back camera make sure you test out all your cameras as well including zoom lens and so on all right um let's go ahead and tell you what you can do now the first thing you want to do guys in case your cameras are failing are you getting the failing warning on your camera is go ahead and go to settings once you're in settings as seen here what you're going to do is go down and we're going to go to the option that says apps so once you find apps go to apps and once you're in apps you can use the search function or it's arranged alphabetically so go ahead and go through the menus and find the camera option so camera should be somewhere around here um, it might take you a little while to find it but of course it should be here so as you can see i have um camera i'm going to tap on the camera once you tap on the camera guys go next to storage once you're in storage go ahead and do the following you're going to clear cache so go ahead and clear the camera's cache then you're going to clear date i'm not going to do it on mine but it okay and of course i'm going to cancel on mine for you hit okay once you do um after any major changes such as this go ahead and reboot your phone so go ahead and either use the um, volume down and power to reboot or go into the menu up here and hit the power option but go ahead and reboot once you reboot what you should find is that test the camera again and in most cases it should um, work in that the camera should start working again now if that fails the next thing to do is to know that at times other apps can be um, hogging the camera so for example whatsapp in the past i've seen hold on to the camera it could be any app at all that can access the camera so um i suggest in that case go ahead and um think about the apps that you use that have asked for camera access i'm going to use whatsapp as an example here all right so in case of let's say whatsapp so we're going to go back to apps again so we're going to go into apps and let's say whatsapp is the um the culprit or you think whatsapp is the app I suggest you go through all of your apps and write down the ones that have camera access so let's say whatsapp for example it does use the camera to take photos um, for video calls and so on all right so go ahead and go to permissions and what you're going to do in each case is you're going to go notice it says allowed for camera you go to camera here and um you're going to hit do not allow do not worry later on when you launch the camera from the app it will ask you again for permission or you can return here and what you can do is allow access once again so if you suspect that it could be whatsapp um, go ahead and hit do not allow once you do not allow there go ahead and try the camera again chances are if you go through every single app that you have installed that uses camera access and um, revoke access you'll find the culprit eventually now i suggest in such a case that you update your apps to make sure that you're all running well or of course it could just be a bug with that particular app another thing to try guys in this case is that um if you were having the issue all of a sudden after installing a particular app you're going to check the last few apps that you install just before having the issue um, usually it's the last three so let's say for example um you're going to go back see which three apps last and then for a test you can write down these three apps then you're going to uninstall all three or uninstall one reboot your phone come back then try the other one try the other one and then observe the camera each time um, sometimes you'll realize that the issue is with 
one of those apps that's installed that's causing the problem. In that case, find an alternative app or of course, do not install that app once more. All right. All right, another thing to try guys is to do a force reboot. I'm not gonna do it now, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So hit, you're gonna hold both at the same time, find your volume down, find your power, you're gonna hold both, keep holding for about um, 30 seconds or so. What's gonna happen is that you might see a screenshot or the volume might go down, but of course keep holding. And of course you're gonna realize that the phone is going to reboot. Now sometimes doing a force reboot is enough to jog, jog the system and release access to the camera. After doing that, go ahead again and test your cameras. Next thing you can do, guys, is go to your power menu. And turn your power menu. Um, go ahead and press and hold the power off. It's going to ask you to boot into um, safe mode if you press and hold instead of tap. Now, once you boot into safe mode, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to show you how to get there. Um, just simply tap and it will boot into safe mode. I'm going to cancel. Now, check this out, guys. Once you're in safe mode, it should say safe mode somewhere down here. And once you're in that mode, what I suggest is go ahead and launch the camera. Test both the front facing and the rear facing camera. Or if it's another lens such as the zoom lens, try zooming. Now what should happen is that the device should run through its spaces. Once it runs through its spaces, um, you should now see if the problem is gone. If the problem is gone, it's then definitely a software on your device interfering with the camera. As safe mode disables all third party apps and only leave the core applications. So in that case, you might have to explore finding or tracking down the particular app of issue or do a total reset of your device. Do not always recommend that, but in some cases, the only option, especially if you're finding that it's only working in um, safe mode. All right. So that's how to do this on your um, Samsung Galaxy S22. In most cases, um, it's a software based, based glitch and doing one of those should fix the problem. However, in other cases, it could be hardware. So if you have exhausted all of the options and your camera is still failing, it's the problem that the camera itself um, um, is faulty and it will need to be replaced. Um, these things do die sometimes or die on arrival. So in those cases, you have to take it to a technician and have the specific camera um, replaced. Um, I'm going to end the tutorial here, guys. But as always, it's a pleasure having you. So Ricardo saying bye until next time. Bye.